bum 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 oh hello and welcome to another exciting episode of gill skills all right let's uh, start over hello and welcome to a new exciting episode of gill skills I have no idea why I'm doing this. But today, I have something new to disassemble and micro-scrap and recycle. I thought I'd share it with you. Today, we're going to be micro-scrapping a camper 12 volt power supply. Uh, essentially, this is where the junction box or fuse box of the camper itself. So I would suspect there's gonna be some fuses in there, some brass in there, and tentacles of Number one wire, it's number two, dumbass. For goodness. So let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? All right, guys. For those of you that have been around for a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just do it! It means the world to me, it means the world to my channel, and it also means the world to the YouTube algorithm to push my channel. Yes, so please, if you don't mind, that would be great. Thank you. All right, so first and foremost, you get this beautiful wire here on both sides, but I don't want to necessarily cut it just yet because I'm sure there's more wire leading into the junction box. So first things first, let me go ahead and tilt this up a little bit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's a hidden screw there. There's eight, nine, ten. There's uh, three hidden screws there. Ten screws to get out. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out right now. But one, this one here is a little stubborn. Let's see if I can get it out with the, the neodymium magnet. Let me see if I can get this out somehow. Somehow, no! somewhere. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, all right, it's still in there. No metal left behind. Wait, hey, it came out. Nice. Perfect. As you can see here, we just got a little bit of plastic here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to a side uh, for now. Perfect. So as I suspected, let me go ahead and give you a closer look here. As I suspected, we've got this junction box. We've got this board here with a decent amount of goodies on here. We got IC chips in here and a few other goodies. We got more wire that led to the board itself. So I'm gonna to try to snip the board and I'm gonna to try to snip this rubber so that I can leave all this wire intact. And I plan on stripping it a little later. So let me go ahead and see if I can remove the wire from the board and then we'll go from there. From the board. Let's do this thing. Where's the music? Where's the music? Where's the music? Okay, so we got we got some beautiful wire here, and uh, I believe I can cut this, or I can I can snip these at a later time because I do plan on actually stripping all of this wire. This is definitely big enough for me to strip, and it's going to be nickel or uh, tin plated copper or tin uh, coated copper. Excuse me. So, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Now we got the board itself. Uh, let me go ahead and see about getting these screws off. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Crap ton of screws. So we're gonna go ahead and get those off right now. All right. Okay, all right, I think I got them all. So let's go ahead and pull that out. 
it is plastic and there is no metal on it. There's nothing else on it. So I'll put this with the other piece of plastic. Just put this here. There. So I'm kind of surprised in a way, uh, looks like all the wires and everything were fused onto or soldered onto the board itself. It's hard to tell. I think all of this may be tin, but there is a possibility there could be traces of silver there as well. You guys let me know. This is a junction box for a camper as well. It's just a 12 volt power supply for a camper. So you guys let me know. Uh, it's not really super, super shiny. It doesn't have a shiny sheen, which makes me wonder, like silver doesn't have a super shiny sheen. You be the judge and let me know in the comments below what you think. If you think that all of this is tin or silver or or a combination of both or just 10. If you break these up, if I'm not mistaken, there are spools of copper in each one of these. So you can actually break the box and take it apart yourself if you really wanted to. And what better way to illustrate than with a hammer? Yeah, that's enough to see. So yeah, so it looks like each one of these has a decent amount of copper in them. So you can actually take those off and unspool them as you see fit. Or you can leave it on the board. You can sell it the way it is over at boardsort.com. The question I have for all of you is, is what would you consider this? Is this considered a low grade board or because it's got IC chips and a few other goodies here, is it considered a mid grade board? I don't know if it would be considered peripheral or not, but again, I want you guys to be the judge. This will uh, encourage engagement, right? Yeah, girls. All right, guys, gals, boys and girls of all ages. Uh, this is it. This is everything that we got here today. Uh, we always start with the screws, more or less. This is the screws that came out of the uh, junction box itself. Uh, we've got this nice uh, bo a board of sorts here. Uh, so you guys need to let me know in the description below what you think it is. I think it's... I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna. I'm very tossed between a low grade and a, a mid grade board. Um, but again, you guys, let me know what you think. There, we've got all this plastic here for the front and the back. And I think the big takeaway for this one here is all this wire. I think this is number one wire. Number two. Uh, I am going to be stripping this at a later time. You might even see it in a later video. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.